All right. Hello and welcome. Today I have a special guest, my 10-year-old daughter. Hello. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. You can wait till the end of the video to see if you got value out of this video. So I wanted to make a video that teaches a person how to use and how to create um, using a glitter iron-on vinyl, uh, basically how to make an iron-on shirt. So I'm going to take us through the process and our special guest, my daughter, <laughs> Sienna, yes. is going to ask questions as she thinks about them. So hopefully she can um, ad no advocate good. for the audience. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Hey. So we are going to make um, our friend Alexander a Valentine's Day onesie. So this is a size, uh, it's, it's a size 6 to 12 month, regular plain white onesie that we got at Walmart in a pack of three. And we also have, I like how you have the comfy chair. <laughs> and then we have some black glitter iron-on, and then we have some red iron-on here. So um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how to do this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take you to the design space that I use um, for cutting and that is Cricut. So I'm going to share my Cricut. Okay, so here we are in Cricut. This is the home page for Cricut. And now if you don't know what a Cricut is, it's a machine that you use to cut. Okay, so Most of us know, know it's like nano. Mm -hmm. All right, so ask me questions. What yeah. is Cricut? This machine is the Cricut. People call it Cricut. Cricut is the machine that's right next to you right here, okay? So that's a machine that cuts the vinyl. So in order to tell the machine what to do, we have to use uh, the website, which is the design space, okay? So I'm going to go to the home, sh home website. I don't need a login or anything. Well, maybe I do. It, it knows who I am. So you register, and then you go to... What I hit design. Did you see that? And I click design and then I'm here. Oh. All right. So um, I'm going to, it's already here, but I'm going to show you. Mr. Steel, your girl is now. Okay. Here we are. So I'm going to say maybe later. So what are we doing here now? We have to bring in the picture, right? Yes. So the picture has to be an SVG file. A scalable vector file. So um, I'm going to pull it. I'm going to find it in my files, which I've got it. I've downloaded mm -hmm. a bundle. A bundle means um, a group. I purchased it on Etsy. I downloaded it. Okay. Are you with me? Yes. And I saved it to this Valentine's Day file. Okay. So where is Mr. Steel, your girl? Right here. So I have to make sure it's in this file right here, Mr. Steel, your girl, that it's the SVG, okay? Scalable Vector Graphic. And it doesn't say type here, but that's, that's the type it is. So I pull it, I open it. It's saying, is that the one you want? Yes, save. Okay, so now I go back. And it's like, hey, Cricket, Cricket is saying, I've got these files here. Which one do you want? And I'm going to say, well, what do I want to insert onto the blank canvas? That one, right? Insert image. Whoa, that's pretty big. How big is it? Uh, Look, it says right here the width is 9.5 and the height is 14.1. Okay, so what... What are the measurements needed for this one? So it's like really going to like go across and then down. It's gonna start right here. Okay. And it's gonna be that image. Where does it go? How long do you want it to be? Across, it can be about five or six inches. Yeah. Okay, so I go past six and then about eleven, eleven or ten. Or ten. Okay, so that's kind of what we're working with. Six by ten. So when we look at this measurement it okay. tells us how how wide it is and then it tells us the height how long it is so let's just put in the measurement we set for width six 
and then it'll six by eight. Okay. So that's going to fit like entirely on here. Okay. All right. So let's look at the colors. Do we want to keep the colors the same? Let's say you wanted to change the colors. Well, the next day is only for Valentine's, of course, red and pink. Gray. But this is for a boy onesie. Not sure, yeah. <laughs> so should we reverse the colors? Like maybe put the bow black and then the other colors red? So this is where I'm going to show you how we're going to play with that. So we're going to ungroup mm -hmm. because we, if we leave it all the same, it, it's a group. It's all stuck together. We need to release them. Separate. Yeah. So we're, it's already clicked because it's got the, the yes. box around it. Ungroup. Now look, the bow is separate. No, steel. steel is separate. But up. this all gets all gets is its own group. So we can't ungroup that for whatever reason. So what we can mess around with is the color of the bow. Mm -hmm. So currently it says it's red. We can click it. You notice how that heart is not even? Do you like that? Or do you think we can, we can change it? We can change it by, watch. We can upload this one. Okay, and this one, we're going to ungroup, just stick with me, and we're going to delete the other part. We're just going to keep the bow, Side down. get rid of this bow, and bring this bow. Is that better? Yes. I think it's better too. Yeah, it's a bit more easy. It's more balanced, right? Yes. So, all right. Also, the yeah, the stripes kind of made it look weird. So we're still on the color of this bow. Um, so I'm going to click it and I'm going to change the color to black. How's that look now? And then Mr. Steal Your Girl. Mr. Okay, I don't know what I'm clicking. Just that part. Okay. What color should we put that? Red? Red. And then just the steel, what color? Black. Does that look good? Do you like the way it looks? Yeah. Is it even? Yeah. So if I want to make it, you know how it was ungrouped and I yeah. just wanted to group the letters, I just group it like that and I group the letters together. Okay. Okay, I hope that's even. I wish I had a way of knowing if it was even, but I'm trying. I'm trying. And I Okay, so now I'm going to group the whole thing. I have to do this. I have to group it. Now, once I've got it all grouped, I'm going to hit make it mm -hmm. to continue. Oh, we have to make sure we're connected from the machine to the, they talk to each other. We're going to mirror, now it's backwards, and now we're going to continue. The machine is already hooked up. All right, so here people are gonna see a little bit more what's going on. Hi. All right, so we've got it set to iron on and it has been placed. Okay, now just because you place it, now you have to load it. If it has the little blinking, so it tells you right here what you have to do next. Make sure you have this one. And the, the blade is usually with the program, so. Press it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Did you see it drag it under? No, right? So let's hit it again. So it has to pull it under, otherwise it's going to cut up here because it thinks it already did it. So you have to watch it go under. You see? Now it's loaded properly. Okay. Now we can hit the C button. You have any questions? No. I just want to watch. I know it's supposed to be like a guess the question thing, but right now I just don't know about the question. Why isn't it? Oh. So now it's going to cut. Wow. All right, let's get the next one ready. While that one's working, we can start to go to the next one.
Wow, this is a pretty large one. It's a red mist. It's a red Mister Your Girl. Now we can still move this around. We're gonna edit. Put the mirror on. And so this is okay. Hit the eject button. No, the banking button. Okay. So now what we do is we will peel it. Go ahead and pull it off. Okay. So we'll tell you what to do with this later. For now, let's get to the red. Done. It's going to start. All right, so we're going to go ahead and, and stop right here. This is the end of the, the cutting. And we will be, next we're going to start weeding the actual um, the design. So what I like to do is you have to really be able to look and see steel and then there's the bow. So, no, because sometimes I like to cut the extra and save it, but not on this one. So do you, can you see how we're going to separate? Now, what's going to peel off is we want the letters, right? Not, not the black backdrop. So we can set it down. So what we're doing here is we are reading the letters off. I want to be careful, especially when you're doing like projects that are very detailed. Okay, so you still see how we have to do some more weeding here. So we're going to continue weeding and then we will come back. All right, everyone, and we're back. Deanna has done a great job. Weeding out um, this glitter iron on. So she's finishing up the red. I wanted to show you this machine. It's a heat press. Now, for a little while, I was using an iron when I was first learning, and now I feel comfortable um, making iron ons. And so I decided that if I was going to really take my business to the next level, I had to I had to buy one of these. Now I got this on Amazon for like $130. It's it has three and a half to four star reviews. Um, doesn't have the best rating, it's not the best quality, but I just needed something inexpensive to help get me started, and I thought that this would be a great, a great starter heat press. And I can always buy one later on if I feel like I need to. Um, where did you get the money? Hmm, uh, from a checking account. All right, so while she's finishing doing that, um, make sure, okay, do you need, do you need some help? All right, so now we've got uh, the steel and the mister and then the rest of it, this is, this is together. So this is, because this is the largest piece, this piece is gonna go down first. And um, I'm excited to see how that looks. So currently the machine is heating up. Um, it's at 146. So we're going to wait until it gets to its temperature 3, 360. 360 is the temperature that we can press on. So we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Okay. All right. So we're back. And it's super important that yeah. you don't touch the plate. The plate is 350 degrees. It's like touching an oven. Okay. okay. So be careful. You can feel so, the heat. Yeah, I know. So what we're going to do is we're first going to iron the shirt. Can you can you cut in between there and separate those two? Sure. So we're going to iron the shirt first. So this is a spot. I'm going to go ahead. And I'm using this little cotton fabric for now. And then I just press it. I've already programmed for 20 seconds, and so I just hit enter, and I'm going to let it heat for about 10 seconds. Okay, so the first thing we put at the top is going to be 
The bow. The bow. But where's Mr. Steal Your Girl? Okay. Okay. All right, so I got pressed a little bit longer than what I wanted. That's fine. Okay, so we are now going to measure glitter side up. Give me the bow, please. The bow is here. So I have to think of where the bow is going to go first. So right now I'm just kind of figuring it out. I'm not going to be able to do this in one punch. I mean, this here. So this is where we're going to put the mister. It was just a big break. So like the car. Okay. So that's where, so the glitter is on there. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and give me that pink. Pink necklace. Okay. Now because we're going to be heating it twice, once for this and once for that, yeah. I'm only going to use it really for about 10, 15 seconds. There it is. There it is. Okay. Pick it up. Maneuver it over. Oops. Careful. Now, when you pull this off, you want to pull it off in a diagonal angle. Pull it straight up and let it come with it. Right. Now we're going to put the next part. We're going to adjust. We're now going to do the bow, center the bow. And steel goes in the middle. So something to remember is don't put the plastic on top of plastic. That's why we have to separate it because it wouldn't work. Oh my god, it's all messy. Yeah, it won't stick right. Um, I'm noticing this bow is... Okay, ready? So we put this. Now why do we use the cover? I think it's to protect the plastic from yes. the heat. And then it does clamp. Now the reviews on Amazon said that the clamp handle breaks, so be very gentle and don't press on it. Just let it do its job. You can set the pressure of um, when you do when it does lock. So it's you can set the pressure, so you don't have to hold it. So it's really important. Okay. I let this go the full 20 seconds because I won't be doing any more ironing on it. Pull off and then it's at a diagonal angle. Very good. Trash that. Trash that. And this is our final product. All right. So thanks for watching. We appreciate you learning how to do, how to cut it. How to cut using the Cricut and how to apply onto a onesie. See you next time. Remember to subscribe. Bye-bye.